That is so neat. A wooden sculpture of the Maverick train. I think we need this in our living room. No. <laughs> What's happening, y'all? Good morning. We are at my favorite amusement park. It's my first time in seven years. It's and my first Sarah's. Time ever. Yeah, Sarah's first time ever. I love this place. Let me turn y'all around, show y'all where we're at. Cedar Point. So beautiful. Look at all them coasters. He's not excited or anything. <laughs> first time in seven years. Sarah's first time ever. Oh, look at those Snoopy characters over there. Oh, nice Snoopy characters. Snoopy topiaries. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's 8.50 a.m. Early entry starts at 9. We're going to head. I think we're going to do Millennium Force first. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Please do that and hit the notification bell. For yeah. Notifications. notifications. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it delivers pizza, too. <laughs> And this park is over 150 years old. Has a lot of history. We'll read that later. We gotta get to some coasters. That's right. Such a happy park. Love it. And you get a free 150 year button. We're gonna have to check that out later. Oh yes, the classic, the original Giga Coaster, Millennium Force. And that airtime hill is amazing. Let's have us some fun, y'all. How was your first ride? It was more intense than I was expecting. I didn't cry out on anything though, so. Yeah, but she's giving it another chance. Might as well, I'm here to ride coasters. There you go. Until the afternoon, and that's my time. Until the late, late afternoon. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah but I mean, it's fun. Lots of air time. But yeah, I was, I was, I don't know. <laughs> well, we're gonna ride it again. <laughs> I know. How's that second ride? I liked it better than the first. It's still a little bit more intense than I expected, even though it was the second ride. It's just the intensity of the coaster. But I mean, all in all, it was a fun ride. <laughs> Y'all enthusiasts are gonna be laughing because a lot, a lot of enthusiasts say that ride is Millennium Force is mild, so. <laughs> I, I don't do like intensity on um, coasters though. <laughs> like that intensity, like Intimidator. I Fair. don't do that one. Yeah, so. yeah, she hates Intimidator 305, although that's intimidating. It's way more intense than Millennium. I know, I know, but it's right. It's I don't know. To me, it seemed like on the level, like not on that level, but very similar to it. But that's just my thoughts. I'm not a coaster enthusiast. I'm just learning. But yeah. Love you, baby. <laughs> Love you too, honey. <laughs> So it's a little after 9.30 right now. There's a little bit of a line, but they do move people pretty quickly. My guess, we'll get through this line in 25, 30 minutes. Let's put some money on that. <laughs> if, I, if I'm wrong, y'all pay me. If I'm right, y'all pay me. <laughs> leave a comment. Yeah, or leave a comment. And subscribe too. Yes. Initial thoughts on Maverick? No. <laughs> Just no. a big no. <laughs> Not my jam. Too intense? Yes. I love Clearly it. That I don't like that. <laughs> and he tricked me into getting it. <laughs> I didn't tell I her. I love launches. I love launches. That was the intensity a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't tell her anything beyond the launches about this ride. Are you starting to see a correlation if you want to be on a ride? <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> yeah, for me, I actually like Maverick better than Millennium Force. I prefer Millennium Force. Whatever, girl. Whatever. I love the intensity. I love the quick transitions, the air time. It's a great combination. And it is approaching 10 o'clock. We're going to line up for that beautiful RMC coaster Steel Vengeance right up there. It looks like fun. I love RMC. Oh, yes. Train doing its test run. Oh, look at that. Finishing up the morning test runs. It is about 10.15 and the line is now moving. <laughs> What did you think of Steel Vengeance? It was amazing. I loved it. Yes. I loved it. It was, so for that one, it was the first time for both of us. It was so Dude, good. Dude, oh so my good. God. We waited like an hour and a half. Yeah. It was so worth it though. Yeah, they had issues with one of the trains. They had to take it off the tracks then put it back on. But everything got worked out. We got on about an hour and a half after the gate opened. Number one. And not just number one here, my my favorite of all time. It is such a good ride. I enjoyed it. I would ride it over and over again, and I'm not a re-rider, so. <laughs> yeah, I wish the line wasn't so long, because otherwise we would be riding that over and over again. We will on Sunday, though. Yeah, we're, we're coming back. Access. Coming back on Sunday for sure, yeah. Yes. But now we're going to get some food, because yeah. I am hungry. We are hungry now, and man. I, I just cannot get over how amazing that ride is. It lives up to the hype, y'all. Love it. Yep, let's go eat. Having a little lunch break, as we told y'all. Having some ribs, man. Sarah's having the same thing as me. With mac and cheese. Let's try these bad boys out. Time for the taste test now. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I ain't gonna be fancy like Sarah. Just gonna use my fingers. Is that the report got me? <laughs> it fell off the bone. Mm. It's really good. That is nice, y'all. Mm -hmm. Man. That is yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. This is good. And it was on the meal plan. Yeah. Included with the dining plan or meal plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The awesome thing is, they also offered a salad and a coleslaw as well if you didn't want mac and cheese. Yeah. But I was starving. Yep. Yeah, we're because most of the time the salad and I think there's been post laws aside, but we rarely get salad as a free side. So Yeah. Special little treat with this mac and cheese up in here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We're gonna hop on good old Gemini. Classic racing coaster up in here. Here's a coaster nerd shot for y'all. Look at all those gears. Uh, looks like a uh, blue train, or the blue side of Magnum is stuck for a little bit. Oh, wait, nope, it's not stuck anymore. All right, there you go. Up and away. How'd you like Gemini, babe? It hurts, but it was fun. <laughs> it, it is a little bit bumpy. Just a little. <laughs> but it was fun, we waited like an hour because there was a rain. Tiny bit of like little bit of little drops here and there, yeah. but it shut down shuts down a lot of rides at this park. Yeah, but it was fine. They, they let us up in first, so now we're gonna go get on another one, and then we're gonna have a pause while I am in first. We're about to get on a classic, y'all. The original hypercoaster. 
Magnum. Look at these retro trains, y'all. 80s. How you like Magnum? Ow. <laughs> that was fun, but it was, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like, the Triangle Hills, that's just something I've never experienced. It was very, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all enthusiasts know about them triangular shaped airtime hill finale. I love it. I love this. Airtime. If you can't tell, Air time. I'm more hoarse with each video. So <laughs> I think I'm doing lots of screaming. And I, I had freak out screams on this one. Yeah, she did. She, oh, I loved it. It was hilarious. Man, I wish we could have had like a selfie cam pointed at, pointed at us because that was funny. One day, one day. Yes. Like, comment, subscribe for that, please. <laughs> so I had to get another re-ride. I love Magnum. Love those triangular, sharp airtime hills. Really intense. Uh, Sarah decided to sit out the re-ride. She's chilling over at um, Trail Tavern, so I'm gonna go join her. <laughs> Got some beverages. We are gonna walk to the next coaster. We're gonna have us some fun on that coaster too. Yep, let's go. for Rougarou, right here. Look at all them loops. I will say, I really like that one. Now, Rougarou used to be a ride called Mantis. Um, it had stand-up trains instead of the sit-down trains that you see there and um, Always had a good layout kind of beat your head up a little bit But um, this conversion to Rougarou with the floorless sit-down trains It's a lot smoother and also they removed the trim brake that used to act or let me re rephrase that There's a trim brake on the first drop that used to activate when it was a stand-up coaster the trim brake's still there but it no longer activates under this conversion. The ride is a lot more intense than it used to be, and it is a lot more fun. Great layout, um, four inversions, but very twisty. A lot of fun, good ride. So it looks like we are going to be checking out Iron Dragon next. It's a, suspending, a suspended swinging coaster. It's a great time, has two lift hills, and, a, and it's a lot of fun. Now, Sarah didn't want to do Rougarou, but she is doing this one, though. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I like the bat. I can style it, and it's really similar, so... Yeah, it's very similar to the bat at King, King's Island. She's a huge fan of that one. I am. So, we're going to do this one. Yeah. What do you think about Iron Dragon? The second half was better. Yeah, the first half is really mild on it. It didn't swing at all, but the second half did a bit more. Yeah, the second half is where those extreme two G-forces kick in. Characteristics that, that make the bat basically work out. Yeah, so the bat at King's Island down the road, it swings more. it's a lot more intense than Iron Dragon. Yes. But, but it's still good. Yeah, it's still a fun little ride. Yep. So we got really hungry. Uh, we decided not to be too picky. Sarah got some chicken tenders and some breadsticks on the left there. Yep. Used her drink plan for the Sprite. And then I got some pizza and breadsticks as well. And then also at the Buttons, the 150-year 
button st or pin or whatever stand that I told you all about earlier. We picked ours up and it's really cool. You can write on the year that you first visited Cedar Point. So on the left, Sarah, of course, her first visit, 2021. And uh, my first visit, 2002, back in my high school days. Love this park, man. So I put my 150 year pin on right underneath the, my Carowinds up in here. Sarah's too cool for school. I didn't put mine on, but that's okay. Whatever, whatever. Gonna finish out this afternoon on Wicked Twister. So that was fun. Sarah missed out. Not my thing. Anything that goes backwards is a no. Y'all tell her in the comments that she missed out. Whatever. So we're going to wrap up on all the coasters for the day. We're going to end up, end off on day one, walking the beach. I know Sarah's been looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. So we're going to a beach without walking on. Yeah, the good old beaches of Lake Erie. It's been an awesome day. We're going to come back on Sunday. I'll be part two of this video or might be the same video. I'm not sure yet. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see about that. Well, let's, walk, let's close this one out. Yeah. Walking this beach. You can rent wave runners, kayaks. You can go parasailing. I don't see anybody parasailing right now, but you can do that. A lot of extra fun activities outside of the park. And then you can look at all these beautiful coasters. <laughs> yeah, that's your favorite part. Yes. Well, Mine is looking at this, the water. Hey, you know, I, I, I was telling Sarah, screw the Caribbean. But screw, man, those islands are overrated. This island right here, an island full of roller coasters. This is the best type of island. It's the best type of island for Brian. That means, you know, it's universally accepted. Beautiful, man. Beautiful day. Upper 70s. Not too hot. A little chill. A little bit of chill in the air. A little, little bit of, a couple of um, rain delays, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Otherwise, it's been a beautiful day. Yep, let's go a little bit closer to the water. Sounds good to me. Easier to walk there. What's up, Mr. Siegel? Like, comment, subscribe, bro. So now, tell me, as a first-time visitor, what are your thoughts on Cedar Point? I like it a lot. Clearly, look at my face, I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, we rode a lot of roller coasters, and normally, sometimes after noon, I don't ride coasters. But I did today, I rode two. But yeah, I mean, there's some I want to hit on Sunday. I, I think it's they have a great coaster selection. Yeah, it's just, they have all different types. Mild, medium, and t super intense. Mm -hmm. Everything in between. It's um, it's such a great park. Well run, clean, efficient, excellent park. I love definitely, it. Definitely, definitely, and I can't wait for Sunday. Yeah, and I think um, we're probably gonna split this up to a second video, most Possibly, likely. Yeah. And um, but so be sure to check out part two. Yep. And, and then go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button. And the bell icon for notifications and leave us comments as well. Yeah, and what you think? What's your favorite roller coaster at Cedar Point? At Cedar, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are your favorites? What are your least favorites, most favorites? Okay favorites? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, also check out our Cleveland video that we're about to film right after this. Yeah, but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.